it's me, Supreme. I'm back with another review. Review and brief history of the ATSD driver. By the way, um, happy holidays and New Year's to all my fans out there. Um, I've got the ATSD driver here from the, uh, of course, the new uh, ATSD from the Legacy Collection. He has a bit of a history. There was a figure I've also got with me. I'm not going to open it. I've got the OTC Collection, Han Solo. You can see with that glare, dressed as an ATST driver. There's some dispute if he was dressed entirely as a driver or just wearing the helmet. But anyway, they made the figure of him. Also from the uh, 2002 to 2004 Saga line, I've got from the Imperial Forces pack, I've got another ATST driver from that. This has actually been one of the hardest Imperial figures to get. Remember the, uh, the video I made, 100 Imperials? Um, this is this was like the, I had 100 Imperial figures and I didn't have an ATSD driver. So that tells you something. All right, a brief history of this. Um, of course, you know, Star Wars fans, um, Return of the Jedi came out in 1983. Uh, they made a figure form back then in a really crappy walker. Uh, they were sold separately, uh, like 83, 84, um, when the Power of the Force line came out, after Hasbro bought out, uh, after they bought out uh, Kenner, uh, they released the Power of the Force figure again. He was pretty blocky. Uh, I know a lot of you don't like your Star Wars figures to be on steroids, so us current collectors kind of look down on Power of the Force in a lot of ways. But anyway, they made one then, again with a walker. Um, after after the Power of the Jedi range came out, they started making figures more accurate. And and they came out with a figure between 2002 and 2004. I have to actually contact Jedi Master in Australia about this. It was the Imperial Forces Collector's Pack for uh, Toys R Us. And that came with this figure. A lot of people don't know this, but but he's the current articulation for the current figure as well. Um, in the OTC line, as I said, they, they came out with Han Solo as an ATST driver. He's pretty much exactly the same in the shade of the uniform and everything, but his helmet is removable. And he show you on the back, pretty good likeness of Harrison Ford, if you can see. I, I don't want to open this figure. I just think this one's a real keeper. So I'm just going to show you the unopened version. Uh, 30th anniversary rolled around. Target and Toys R Us each had an exclusive, a Hoth pack and an Endor pack. They each released basically this guy. They made they made the uniform slightly darker. I think the lighter uniform is more movie accurate, but uh, the darker uniform I actually like better. It looks more actually like a military uniform, kind of like a flight suit of a of a pilot or something. I I like this one a lot better and. Uh, all right, when, when those two packs came out, the only way to get an ATST driver was to buy an Ultimate Battle Pack from one of the exclusive stores, and, you know, they, they did, still didn't sell them separately. But finally, when the Legacy Collection came out, they re-released the Hoth one. The Hoth one was slightly darker. And, of course, he has the current, the current uniform. Uh, these two figures are pretty much identical. The paint is different. Uh, the, the Imperial patch on the newer one, I think, looks different. The, the patch on the side. Uh, the older Imperial Forces pack doesn't have a removable helmet. Han Solo, the 30th anniversary, and the Legacy ones do. <laughs> Actually, this thing was strapped in really good. I had trouble getting the, the strap off. And now that I have it off, it seemed like the helmet fits a little bit loose to me. The, that, that could be just me, though. The head is actually a, a redo of one of the uh, Capture of the Tanty 4 Rebels in the Capture of the Tanty 4 Battle Pack for the 30th anniversary. He does come with an E11 blaster, uh, no holster for it. Uh, the articulation for this guy, I'll read it over really quick. There's no articulation at the ankles. Uh, there is a, a, they say a swivel neck on rubble scum. It could be ball jointed though, I'm not sure. Looks like it's ball jointed to me. Ball jointed neck, uh, swivel shoulders, swivel forearms, swivel biceps, swivel waist, swivel hips. No articulation at all at the ankles. Also his, his one forearm seems to be uh, bent more than the other. Looks like he's grabbing a control inside the ATST. These guys fit inside the ATST well, despite the fact that they're not up to uh, up to specs on current articulation. But uh, I've seen these guys pretty high on uh, on eBay for price, especially the new one. I've seen the new one straight up for about twenty bucks, and the, and the Walker is forty-five. So actually, the Walker is forty if you live in the lower forty-eight states. But anyway, uh, that's too much to pay. Um, I wouldn't pay it if I were you. There is rumor that. Uh, they're going to come out with a new ATST driver in 2010. I don't know if that's rumor or if that's true. But he's supposed to be more articulate, um, a lot better. Uh, he's supposed to meet the standards of the, uh, the the current Legacy collection. And I would wait for him, definitely. Uh, these guys get, I'm going to give them a 7.5. They do their job. They do their job accurately. But um, 
they don't meet the uh, articulation of the current figures, but if you just wanted them to sit in the vehicle, uh, you know, they do that just fine. Um, the only problem I have with Hasbro is just making this figure very limited and hard to get. And unless you want to go back and order the Power of the Force one. By the way, the Power of the Force ones and the Keter ones, uh, they were sold with their goggles down. Their goggles don't work either. The newer figures, uh, 2002 and up, they're sold with their goggles above their helmets. So that's, a, that's another brief note there. I don't have a Power of the Force one to show you. I wish I did, but I don't. Anyway, uh, this is Supreme signing out. And I hope you enjoyed my history of the ATST Walker in my review. Okay, thanks a lot. Yeah.